Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a small Michaels haul for you guys. Um, so I went on two separate occasions. The first time that I went, I was looking for something specific, which I'll get into later. But they didn't have what I was looking for, and I had a 50 and a 40% off coupon. So I just decided to see what I could find. First thing that I purchased was this speedball sketching set. It's basically like a dip pen. So it has these two. Guys, sorry, I'm not like familiar with the terminology with these. But it's basically. Let me open this. I can show you guys. So it has these two. Things that you can insert these different nibs, and it comes with six different nibs. Sorry about that, guys. This thing was so hard to get out. I had to cut this just to get it out. So, I'm like I said, I'm not too familiar with the terminology of these parts. So basically, this is what there's three and three. What it looks like. One, two, three. These three are different size nibs. There's that one. Which is a bigger one. Here's a small, medium size one, I guess you would say. So basically what you do is you just insert it there and then you have a dip and you dip it in the ink and you draw, sketch, write, what have you with it. And then it also has three, it has like this round back. These seem like finer nibs. But anyways, these go in the smaller one. Like so. So yeah, I came with three nibs each for each one. And I got this one because my last haul that I did with uh, some Blake items, I purchased these Speedball inks. And I was reading it says that they're acrylic, super pigmented acrylic. And originally I had purchased these for this fountain pen by Jane Davenport. But I've been kind of scared to put it in there because I don't know how acrylic ink would do in that fountain pen. But if anyone out there knows if it's okay, if I'll be okay using that ink in that pen or not, please comment below and let me know. Or if you guys have any other suggestions. So I just want to show you guys really quickly. Alright. So let's go ahead with this too. Basically, you just dip and then right up there, that's a really fine line. I don't know, I'm used to this, so you guys probably can't even see that. But that's one of the sizes. There's a bunch of sizes, as I said. Let me kind of clean this one off. I don't want to ruin this. But yeah. I purchased that for that. So I'm 
the sort of guy. Next up, I bought these COVID child markers. I think I got this pack for about 20 bucks. It was half off with my coupon. And I'll just go do a rundown of the colors I got here. So Y06, which is yellow. Just a swatch for you guys. R32, which is peach. There's peach. B00, which is frost blue. B05, which was processed blue. YG06, which is yellowish green. And last but not least, V17, which is called Amethyst. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So those are those. <clears throat> so that was for my first visit. So back to, as I was saying in the beginning, I went into Michael's to try to find um, Jane Davenport's Petite Palette Set. I already have the bright set, but I was looking for the neutrals, and I already went to a bunch of locations, and today we drove to High Park, and I finally got my hands on the neutral set. So I'm going to unbox that for you guys. I do have another haul that shows up, and I've been doing a lot of demonstrations with Jane Davenport's. Some of her supplies from her line. So this one has a gold tin. Look at how pretty. Same concept as the other one. Mixing tray here. Mixing tray here. She's got her card. With a little swatch card that you can paint swatches on. She has her artwork there. And then this tray you let this out and you have another mixing well there so I'm gonna go ahead and do a time-lapse and I'll take these apart put them back in and do some swatches so I can show you guys I'll be right back Alright guys, so I finally was able to take off each individual wrapper. So these colors, they have really cute names. <coughs> Excuse me. Within this set, basically you get three primaries, which are mango, apple, blueberry, um, a gray, a white, and a black, which she named the gray one Dove. Unicorn for the white one and raven for the black. And then she has vitamin C here, which is an orange. And the reason why I wanted to get this and everyone's been raving about these is because they have these skin tone colors. 
Which at first I didn't think that I really needed it. I still don't need it, but I thought that it was. I, see, I keep seeing all these videos and these swatches, and I'm like, I gotta get it. It's terrible. So this one is sand. We have buff, which are like fair tones, spice and kiss, which are like medium, and then cocoa, which is a darker tone. But yeah, those are the swatches, and this is not watercolor paper, so I'm pretty sure this swatch will look much better on watercolor paper but I just want to show you guys quickly those swatches and what they look like so yeah I'm so happy that I got my hands on this palette set that to the side um I got another item from her line now I'm not really into stamps like that but as I said I've been seeing a lot of demonstrations she has a Facebook group if anyone's interested um, I can't even tell you what it's called right now. I can't think of the top of my head. But if you go to janedavenport.com, um, and you, she actually has a free workshop that you guys can sign up for. And it has some awesome, awesome, awesome videos and demonstrations on there. You guys should really def definitely check it out. But, so I'm not really into stamps, but I keep seeing all these demos on this stamp set. It has... Four different noses, four sets of eyes, four sets of lips, and it's got this face. So basically, you can customize it. Um, you can mix and match and make different faces. So I thought that was so cute. This was regular price $5.99. I don't think I had a coupon for this, so I just paid regular price for this. But $5.99, guys, that's so worth it to get all these different variations, especially if you guys are not good at drawing faces or what have you um these are really cool like i would really recommend these you can i've seen some um do like one eye open and one close to show that it's winking really cute stuff so yeah i got that and there's always an ant it's terrible i got these bible journaling markers I showed a haul with the black ones, and I mainly bought them for these colored ones. They're point, 0 0.3 point size. Let me just go ahead and show you guys some swatches. I bought these for sketching, believe it or not. So they're waterproof. Acid-free, fade, fade proof, and non-bleeding. So I bought these to actually sketch with. Even though they're waterproof, I think it'll show. I think it'll be cute. I really thought that I drew in this one, but I guess not. So we have this one here. Does it have a name? No. But there's this blue color. I'm gonna dry it out. Is that just how it writes? So a light blue. These are all by American Crafts, the Jane Davenport line. Oh, this purple is pretty. And these this Bible journaly set. That's by American Crafts. They have a lot of things I never knew that. Here's like a tur a green. Oh, the cap looks like a turquoise. Yep, and then black. Some of these are dried up. What's up with that? Mm. Whatever. 
that one's dried out. I'm probably going to return this. But I sold the bottle for these colors and look at how pretty they are. Alright, and last but not least, I bought some frames, which I'll show you guys in one second. All their, a lot of their frames were 70% off. So give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So I purchased this studio decor frame. It's 16 by 20 inches. This one was on clearance for 80% off. So I paid ten dollars. Regular right price was sixty, I believe. And look at how pretty the wood is. It's huge. It's so nice. And I also purchased this eleven by fourteen. That one was six dollars and eighty eighty something cents. So the reason why I bought the frames is because I finally got some. Of my artwork printed this one's called love your selfie and this one's called la vena and i love the way this print came out you can it looks like the actual jewels and glitter but guys i do have these for sale if anyone's interested they're 11 by 14 size And a print is $25 and a print with a frame is 40 so if anyone is interested in purchasing one feel free to contact me I'll leave the info in the description box below so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys one more time that's that one I love this one I love how the picture came out it looks so real But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please comment below, share, and I'll see you next time.